So you guys are probably wondering why am I holding this in front of you guys? Well, this is, well, what's in here is the first food that I had in Germany and it is so good. Well, now I think it's good. I treat myself to it every once in a while. If I could, I would eat it every day, but that's probably not a good idea. Before I open this package and show you guys what's in here, I'd like to discuss something, something which nearly all of us are guilty of. Let me put this away for a second. I want to discuss with you guys today first impressions, how they are not to be trusted, how they become the root of misleading notions, how our human mind sometimes creates stories of people or experiences or places based on assumptions, assumptions which are based on the dreaded first impression. My first ever trip to Germany was during Christmas 15 years ago. I had never eaten German food. I had no exposure to German cuisine, the culture or the language. The only thing I knew about Germany was based on what I learned in school, the history that was taught in American schools, which we all know that history taught in American schools of the world is very limited. I tasted what's in this package and I formed a blanket opinion about Germany that I don't like German food. I met the first two people in Germany during that same time whom I didn't really get along with. I mean, I had my reasons, but that's not the point. The point is that I made another assumption that, hmm, I'm not sure if I really like the people here in Germany. Those two negative points led me to start feeling that maybe I don't like Munich. Because I thought I didn't like Munich, I started feeling like perhaps I don't like Germany. It was like a snowball effect that I created for myself. I was narrow-minded and I created an immediate opinion of an entire country based on my very limited first impression. Since then, I have grown up mentally. I know the importance of listening. I know the importance of learning, growing with the least amount of judgment as possible. So that is what I wanted to share with you guys today and discuss with you guys today is about first impressions and how they are most of the time very harmful. First impressions are based on limited information influenced by our own biases. For example, when we meet someone for the first time, we only have a short amount of time to observe them and make a judgment. We may notice their appearance, their body language, and the way they speak, but this is only a small part of who they really are. We don't have any access to their thoughts. We don't have any access to their feelings, their experiences, and other important aspects to their personality. As a result, our first impression of them is not a complete, cohesive, or accurate representation of who they really are. So our biases and our preconceived ideas play a huge role in first impressions. We all have certain beliefs and expectations that affect how we perceive the world around us. For example, if we have a negative attitude towards a certain group of people, we usually automatically form a negative first impression of someone who belongs to that group. Sadly, we overlook their good qualities. We focus on the ones that confirm the biases that we already have. And something that life has taught me is that people can change over time. I mean, everyone changes. I've changed. I'm sure you have changed. The person we meet for the first time may not be the same person in a few months from now or years from now. Case in point is what is in this package, something which caused me to create a negative opinion about an entire country's cuisine is something now I love, something I literally could eat every day now. But coming back to people, when we go through life experiences, we change our perspective, our values, our behavior. As a result, our first impression of other people may no longer be relevant or even accurate. And so over time in my life, throughout my life, I've learned the importance of not relying solely on first impressions. When forming opinions about other people or things or places or experiences, now when I meet someone new, I try to get to know them better before I form any kind of opinion or a decision. Giving people a chance, a benefit of the doubt, avoids misunderstanding, and it can sometimes lead to beautiful friendships. 
And also first impressions, which may be positive initially, can also lead to something negative down the line or something completely different altogether. For example, in a social setting, a person may come across as confident and outgoing and making really good first impressions. But when you get to know them better, you realize that they are actually shy and an introvert. Only put on a confident front to impress other people. And now when I talk about it, I feel like this kind of defines me because when I'm in a social setting, I am very talkative. But the fact is that I relate to more of an introvert. I'm not shy, but I am more of an introvert. And on the other hand, when you talk about romantic relationships, someone initially may come across as charming, attentive, and affectionate. And over time, you realize that they might be manipulative, selfish, or unreliable. By forming judgments based on first impressions, we sometimes overlook the important qualities and characteristics of other people. We end up with a distorted and incomplete view of who they really are. So now the big question is how do we overcome this? How did I overcome this in my life? Well, I've learned in my life that it is important to approach each person or each situation with an open mind, without preconceived ideas, not making an assumptions based on their appearance, their background, or any other superficial factor. Instead, we can try to know them better, listen to them, and see what they have to say before we form an opinion. It's not always easy. It can be challenging sometimes because as humans, as our human nature is, we are naturally drawn to people who are similar to us, who share the same values and the same beliefs. We are naturally tempted to surround ourselves with people who confirm our biases and make us feel comfortable and secure. But what I've learned over time is that we can try to resist these tendencies and strive to be more open-minded and objective when forming opinions about other people. So now going back to this package here, this right here, let me open it for you. This is a Liebe case Simmel. I'm going to take a bite into this because I have been waiting for this moment. I have bought this, but I didn't want to take a bite until I showed it to you guys. Mm. This is so good. No matter what I say, I don't think I can do the justice of really explaining what it tastes like. For anyone who is not familiar with this, this is Aliba K. Simo. The funny thing is, if you do a literal translation to English, it would be liver cheese bread roll. I know, it sounds disgusting, but there is no liver in this. I don't know how the name originated, so if you're watching and you know, please let me know in the comments. Please educate me. Something I should have looked up, but I didn't. So anyone who's watching who's not familiar with this, I would describe this as a sandwich originated in Bavaria, and it is filled with a type of a Bavarian meatloaf, which is sliced and then put inside a bread roll. Typically, it's served with sweet mustard. I prefer regular or spicy mustard. And it is a very popular street food here in Bavaria. You can buy it at a gas station sometimes. You can buy it at delis. To me, it almost has that consistency of a hot dog, but not the taste, just the consistency of an American hot dog but it tastes nothing like it. To me, it tastes so much better. And my favorite version is the one with the cheese, where the cheese is just oozing out. It's so good. And when you get it hot and you bite into it, it's like literally the best feeling when you're really, really hungry because it hits the spot every single time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thought on first impressions. Let me know your thought on biases. Let me know your thought on Liba Kesemo. And I will see you guys in the comments.